Daro many people's dreams and aspirations include performing a burn. It appears that this is indeed the case. There's a lot of hype behind Terra Luna 2.0. So far, Terra Luna has been tweeting its support for shippers and the Terra ecosystem, including Mr. Kwan, who is confident on the first quarter. And a great deal of individuals are ecstatic about it. You can count on me to hit the like button if you'd want more updates. However, Terra Luna Classic is also advancing since the community still wants a burn. Luna 2.0 has received a lot of mixed reviews, to say the least. In addition, many of those who purchased Luna 2.0 did so because they had previously owned Luna Classic and wanted to upgrade. They're aiming for Terra Luna, after all. For the classic Terra Luna, Luna while crashing new holders, those who purchased dip, should reimburse my money or give me the correct airdrop. About the other side of the coin is the fact that many people have differing views on this. In other words, they bought Luna just as it was about to go down. As a result, many people now have divergent views, yet Luna Classic serves to unite them all. Delegations are now being carried out. Now that delegation has been approved, we must work with validators to re-enable it and to further induce the burns as quickly as possible, you know. As with Terra Rebels, Terra Money, and Stablecoin, Luna Classic and Luna are plainly not the same thing. It's as if there are two distinct groups of people in the world at the moment. A lot of folks just want to show their love for the Luna community, and we're here to help. Terra Luna 2.0 isn't popular with them. However, regardless of your political leanings, Terra Classic still has a larger market cap than Terra Zero at the moment. There are many people that believe in the Terra Luna burn, and that's why. So, if you look over here at Terra Luna burning, you'll see what everyone is looking for. Billions per day are what they're after. In addition, uh, the Quan joined in on this one that we all want to see, as though even even the Quan is interested in seeing what's the greatest Terra Luna classic has to offer. So, when can we expect to see photos of the severe burn injuries? Inflation is currently at a high level, but we're still seeing burns. Terrible has had a rough start to the year in the classics. It's just a matter of when, not if, experts say, and seeing Binance behind Terra Luna Classic is a major thing to me because of the study in the rocket employment that exceeded expectations. Like he stated, okay, we can burn Terra Luna Classic when Binance is behind it. The fact that people are actively supporting Terra Luna Classic and retweeting it to get it listed on Binance to burn Luna Classic is one of the many reasons why I'm so ecstatic about it. You should know that I'm completely and utterly ruined in this place. 16,000 individuals are burning more and more Luna at the moment, amounting to 0.1% of the overall Luna supply burn, but also to 0.16% of the total Luna supply available for us to burn, due to the fact that much of it is inflationary and therefore cannot be burned. But if we can get a delegation, we'll be burning a lot more in the future. The true revolution will come if we can get Binance to burn their fees in the validators, you know, for example, persuade validators to open up the chain and allow burns, that's when we'll be able to observe the validators on a regular basis. Classic Burning Luna Binance hasn't stated its recovery strategy, but the Binance staff has revealed that they're willing to help the Luna class community burn the supply if necessary. That's what really matters to me. When the CEO of Binance steps in and says, yeah, we can actually burn the Luna, that's what really changes the game for me because they have far more power than people burning the Luna Classic themselves. What are your thoughts, guys? Let me know what you think in the comments section below, and I'll be sure to keep you up to date on any new developments till then. Embrace the Zaniness, Pizarro.